great subjects to paint with all the purples and reds and yellows of the berries themselves against a luscious green background. I'm just going to draw the outlines of some of the branches and leaves in the foreground. Now I'm going to apply masking fluid to the drawing. Any sort of transparent plastic will do. I'm just cutting a rough area of the shape. It doesn't need to be exact. The areas I've just masked will later be worked on in detail for the foreground in the finished painting. What I do now will create depth by adding different colours wet into wet. This becomes a diffuse background without sharp edges, giving the appearance of being out of focus. To lift certain stems further forward, I lighten them a little with a wet brush and add new colours to them. Now it's time to remove the masking fluid and plastic sheet. I have a very small worn out hog hair brush I use for washing out pigment in a very limited area of the painting. Here you can see the advantage of using a flat hake brush. You can always use the real thing. You can find reds and magentas and yellows and oranges all in one leaf. The stems of blackberry bushes have a lovely magenta red colour on the sunny side. Now I've taped a small cluster of blackberries up directly onto the painting so that I can use a magnifying glass to study the details even closer. I have to soften up the highlights a little by scrubbing with a wet hog hair brush. I'll turn the whole painting upside down to make the colours run in the right direction. You can quite easily modify your own brushes.